Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. One of the best times on FIFA Ultimate Team is just around the corner, and EA confirmed it yesterday by releasing the first Team of the Season vote. We were all surprised to see them tweet that out yesterday and actually be able to vote on one of the first squads of Team of the Season that we are going to see. We're going to look at all of that today, and of course, how is that going to affect the market as the hype for Team of the Season continues to build and as word spreads and news gets out that this promo is coming soon because this is one of the best times on FIFA all year long. So we're going to take a look at that and of course the content is still dropping during Trophy Titans because we still have another week of Trophy Titans. So we'll talk about that a little bit in this video as well. But if you're excited for Team of the Season and if this video helps you at all today, hit the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. Now before we talk about TOTS, let's talk about what else dropped on the game yesterday because EA surprised us there with another Team of the Year icon SBC. Well, a Team of the year icon SBC uh, for a player that has been in packs, not really another one, I guess. We've had Hugo Sanchez, we've had Javi Alonso, but Pires, five star skills, four star weak foot, coming in at around 600,000 coins this SBC. His card was around 700k on the market before the leak of this SBC coming out. If you don't want to do this SBC right away as a player that you need in your squad or you really, really want, this is going to be a great SBC to craft during team of the season because it's only four squads plus the silver and bronze. And that's really, really easy to get done. 80, 88, 87, 86, and 84 rated squads. A W from EA Sports. Some people compare this guy to Ginola in terms of how he plays in game. Five star skills, of course, on this team of the year Perez. WSBC from EA. There's not really else much else to say there, except that his card on the market is definitely dropping because most people are looking at this SBC as one that they want to go and do. And some French links are up on the market as well. Now, also yesterday, we had not one, but two different versions of a player pick. We have an 82 plus player pick that we can complete 10 times per day that requires rare golds and 11 rare golds, right? Really, really W value there. A lot of people are packing some of the Trophy Titans icons and heroes from these player picks. The pack away from them is pretty good. And then the 81 plus player pick, you guys know everybody loves these types of player picks. It only requires 10 common golds and that has common gold prices on the market going up a lot. I believe common gold is like 650, 700 coins as a lot of people are stacking these and just opening these over and over and over because they have a chance at packing icons and heroes from player picks, which is not often a chance that we have in this game. So a big W from EA Sports there for yesterday's content. We'll talk about that a bit more and how that maybe could impact the market throughout the rest of this week. But the big news is with team of the season, guys. It is TOTS time. TOTS season is upon us, but there's a lot we can look at right now with this and learn. Now, first of all, the community team of the season vote is the one that is live right now. And if you go into the fine print here, you see this voting started yesterday on April 10th. It is going to be ending on April 13th. And there's a whole schedule that's on another web page on EA's website, which I'll show you guys in a second. This is a very short vote compared to some team of the season votes that we've had in the past couple of years. But this is really resembling the way they did the voting last year in FIFA 22. So uh, this is kind of the vote that we have. You only have a couple days to do it. So make sure you go ahead and do that and you submit your vote and all that. I think you can only vote one time. But some people are looking at these players and like, Nate, there are some really not that high players in this voting uh, and like why would we want to vote on these cards you know like it's, what's the whole point of community tots it's the worst week of tots I mean I would argue that it's it's one of the better weeks of tots because it's still at the very beginning it's really early and the way they're doing this voting this year is the criteria from EA is voting for the best players with one performance based special item or less this year. So if you take a, a look at all these guys that are in the voting, all these guys have one performance based uh, special or less. And uh, I mean, let's be honest, guys, we looked at the team of last year, most consistent or community team this season from FIFA 22. It's probably going to be a pretty Premier League um, based team of the season, right? That's based off the voting. There's a lot of the players that do end up getting in. Last year, we had Laporte, Fred, Zaha. Uh, you might remember the Serge Gnabry, the Kakare card that was absolutely insane for the price that he was in game. We had Cody, Livramento, and Mitchell as well. This Mitchell card like exploded in price. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember him. So as we're taking a look at this team, yes, you could have guys in here like Anderson 
Jason Taliska, who could potentially make it in. Maybe Kim Min Jae could make it in. The attackers, I feel like Gabriel Jesus and Rodrigo, being from Arsenal and Real Madrid, are definitely locks to get into this community team this season squad. So the voting is out now. So go ahead and cast your vote. And um, it does matter, right? There's a lot of different choices in here. I had a Haji Wright in my vote being from the USA. Love Haji Wright. But, you know, it's just fun, right? It's fun to vote on this stuff. It's fun to kind of tweet it and then post it and uh, see what ends up happening with this vote. But uh, a lot of people do say that they, they think these players are like L's. But I will tell you guys again, like, look at this squad from last year, right? I mean, look at the Zaha, the boost that they gave him from his winter wild cards, right? Plus five pace, six shooting, six passing. These are the types of upgrades we expect with Team of the Season. Big time stat boost. You can look at these cards. Carrasco with 96 pace, 94 dribble, 91 shooting. Like most or all of the stats on a lot of these guys that are going to be released should be in the 90s. As long as EA keep that up this year, that's been a staple of team of the season is incredible, incredible stat boost. And specifically for a lot of these players that haven't had many special cards this year, there really could be some pretty big stat boosts involved here. Uh, if you take a look at like a Gabriel Jesus, I know we just had a team of the week Gabriel Jesus that's like 86 rated. So you imagine him getting a team of the season card. It's probably going to be one of the top cards in the promo. You would imagine that he's 92, maybe 91 rated, kind of like the Zaha boost was uh, last year in FIFA 22. So this squad of players will definitely be hyped because it's the first week of team of the season and EA will boost up the players a lot. But coming pretty soon, actually a week from yesterday, the 17th of April, uh, the next voting will open and that will be for Premier League team of the season, which we would argue and probably expect expect to be after Community Tot. So it's kind of following the same path and the same schedule that we have known in the past couple of years. Community Tots is first voting open for three days. Voting opens next Monday for the Premier League team this season. The voting closes on the 20th of April. Now, does that mean that we are getting Tots cards in packs like this upcoming Friday for voting closing on the 13th and then on the, you know, the day after that? Are we getting Community Tots? No. We still have a second week of Trophy Titans. I mean, this promo is not over yet. We're going to have a team too. We already have some leaks for it. We're probably going to learn more about that later on this week and talk about it. But the hype is really now transitioning to team this season for sure. It's kind of like uh, the second week of Trophy Titans. We're going to be like, okay, get over and done with as fast as you can because we're ready for team of the season, especially after voting twice on a team of the season squad and not actually seeing some cards in packs because we'll have voted for Community and Premier League Tots before we even see the end of the Trophy Titans promo. So that's going to happen next week. It's kind of like you're voting the week before uh, for the cards that you expect to come out. So we're voting this week for Community Tots next at the end of next week or like a week and a half before basically we're voting. So at the end of next week on April 21st, that Friday, that is going to be the Friday that basically everybody looks at, I believe, to say is going to be the release date of team of the season with Community Tots first, the next Friday after that, probably Premier League. We have Bundesliga, we have La Liga, we have Serie A. We don't see anything about League One. If you look at these dates, it would make sense that League One would be a last because the, the dates kind of play, you know, week by week into into the hands of each other, except for, uh, actually, just kidding, there is a break between La Liga and there is a break between Serie A right here. So maybe League One will fit in between La Liga and Serie A. We'll get more information as we get closer to that. Um, I think last year, I don't think League One Tots was voted on last year as well, but we'll just have to see. But all of these Tots squads that are shown here will be voted on on the EA website. And we're going to have our say into what team of the season looks like. Now, one of the last couple things about this is these are the official car designs. And my goodness, the graphics team at EA has done it again. I said it on stream, guys. I think this might be one of the top two or three team of the season designs of all time. I mean, the car designs just keep getting better every single year, right? But you compare this to last year's car design. I loved kind of the shattered look last year with like the lightning in the background. But like this with the crystals. It looks almost like a team of the year card instead of a team of the season card. I absolutely love this design. I think it's fantastic. Even the like the uh, honorable mentions card design or the the nominees card design with the crystals in there looks pretty good as well. So GG's the EA for killing it once again with an incredible design right there. So that's kind of everything related to team of the season that we know right now. Get your votes in for community. Get ready to vote next Monday for the Premier League Tots. And of course, with all of this news and the hype starting to build, the next side of question is, how is the market being impacted 
because of this news and what is going on in this game right now because of all this, right? Was there a lot of panic yesterday? The answer is there was a little bit of panic, but the panic has kind of subsided because people also realized that, okay, I like tots, yes, the voting is open, but it's not actually going to be something that we see in game for it's still like over a week and a half. So that's kind of putting a damper on the panic. Now, let me be honest and say this. Will this market crash more heading into team of the season? 100% absolutely. Prices are going to drop further as we get closer to the start of team of the season. But right now, I mean, even if you think about it in game, there's no loading screen. There are no in game messages. The only thing is like, if you go to the home screen on PlayStation, you can see, or maybe on Xbox too, there's like some stuff in here about uh, the team of the season, like car design and talking about team of the season. But I mean, for those people that play the game really casually, that don't follow EA sports, that just look at the stuff they see on the game, there's really nothing in game that talks too much about team of the season voting. Uh, so I think there is more panic to come. And if you have cards in your team that you don't want to hold on to, this is probably a decent time to get them out still while prices are Okay, I know prices are down from where they have been, but prices are still in the grand scheme of things higher now than I believe they will be next week at this time, next week towards the middle of the week where we are on the doorstep of team of the season. I still think there are opportunities for the market to drop a good amount more in the coming week. So just be careful again with cards that you maybe have. I think prices are still going to do okay throughout this next week, especially with the live cards, right? That's where I've been trading. And yesterday with the bit of panic selling that we did see, uh, that was kind of the best place to trade. I picked up a David Alaba 1.12. Uh, I picked up a couple fantasy cards. I do believe that these cards potentially could get their upgrades today. I picked up two Fabian at 175. Uh, and he is now back to almost 200,000 coins, expecting an upgrade for him today. Jota was down. Ruben Diaz was down from those fantasy cards. Some of the fantasy for the heroes dropped in price as well. So I really have been trading with some of those live cards. And of course, the Trophy Titans. But some of you guys may be asking about this as, as well, because yesterday we were really, really bullish on investing in some of these Trophy Titans, which I did, and it actually paid off big time. Um, now, I ended up selling all of the stuff that I invested in yesterday. I did make a quick flip out of it, uh, especially with the voting for Team of the Season being out and that kind of conversation starting to happen. Uh, I do believe that prices on these cards will probably just stay the same. Some of them will still maybe move upwards a little bit as we had throughout this week, but but like a bird camp who is besides two undercuts right now about 540k he was of course up a lot yesterday morning a lot of these cards rose and they were great uh they were great cards to trade with Essien, right we bought a couple of those we mentioned yesterday's video he went from 345,000 coins up to 370. You can see yesterday's content with Team of the Season and the Icon SBC and the player picks did drop some things a little bit but some stuff is, I mean, none of these cards really are like down horrendous, let's be honest, except Zidane. Zidane is down a decent amount, um, but like Casillas is still the same price. Lam is still around the same price. Burkamp is up. Lam is up. Rio is up. Carlos, same price. Del Piero, same price. So it's not like if you bought some of these yesterday, uh, you lost a bunch of coins. And then even throughout the rest of the market, foot birthday cards, it's not like they just absolutely uh, just got destroyed in price. I mean, Hummels is up in price after we got the plus two to Thomas Moynier. Hummels went up. He had a kind of a dip as people were selling after the, after the Tots vote. And now he's continuing to go up even further as people buy him to link into their teams. So the market is still doing okay it's not doing like amazing right because we have this news now team of the season coming but it's still doing okay i do believe that there will be some cards that will continue to fall off throughout this week just as people say okay more people learn about team of the season is coming more people learn about the potential for the market to crash as it always does every year with team of the season so like look at mbappe right mbappe was 480 went up to about 506 back down to 480 and right now he's right around 500k so i do believe the market will drop over the coming days but I don't think it's going to be like a crazy like market just tanks and like in one day or two days like we saw before the foot birthday promo where everybody was super scared and super uh, excited about foot birthday. It's just going to be kind of different because we're not going to see as much of like the crazy panic selling happening at one time. I think it's going to be gradual over the next couple of days. And if EA continues to release icon SBCs like this period, there's another leak for another icon coming out. Uh, I mean, that could also impact the market as people are doing a lot of these player picks right now. I mean, you go take a look at gold commons. I mean, it's pretty obvious to see what people are doing right now in this game. Coins are being drained 
uh, at a very, very high rate, 650 insta sell for these gold commons on the market right now because 700 insta sell actually as i look right now because people are doing player picks uh like on repeat trying to pack these icons because it's just crazy that you have such a good chance to pack icons not saying it's easy but you know the chance that or the, the fact of the matter is these icons have a very high pack weight and that has got a lot of people wanting to open these player picks so that's kind of how i'm feeling about the market right now fodder as well we got to talk about that and then we'll look at a, stuff, a couple of things that we could expect to see today on tuesday 83s are still dirt cheap at 850 right 84s 3,000 coins 85s under 9k guys with this team of the season voting starting yes we do expect a team of the season warm-up series still to happen i don't know if it's going to start this friday with titans team two maybe next monday at somewhere in between i still believe that's going to be a great investment opportunity for the low tier fodder so just be on the watch out for that but your middle to high tier fodder is still kind of doing the same thing 88s are up a little bit i believe yesterday we looked at them we saw them rise from rewards lows of like 26k up to about 29,000 coins with the Perez being out, with more people crafting SBCs, especially with player picks, you know, being out there, a lot of people are going to get some fodder, start some SBCs, want to complete those SBCs. So fodder should be doing okay. Not really a place where I honestly am investing too much right now for a short term profit, more of like a longer term hold on the lower tier stuff. If you're going to invest in fodder, it's more towards a look that way. Now, we got an icon SBC yesterday with Perez. Are we going to get another Icon SBC today? Because FIFA Romania tweeted this, Carlos Alberto is coming as an Icon SBC as well. So EA is dropping a lot of Icon content. It fits in with the Trophy Titans promo theme. Maybe they'll drop some Hero Player SBCs too. That would be sick. Uh, but this is a big time SBC. It really is. You can play center back, but more of a right back for sure with his physical stats being a little bit smaller in stature as well. I've used his middle card a lot this year. It is a very good right back card. This is going to be somebody that a lot of people want to craft and want to put in their teams. Tons of right backs recently, right? I mean, you've got the Lom card that's super cheap and Trophy Titans. You got this SBC that's coming out. You got the Thomas Moynier that got the boost, uh, the double boost yesterday, five star, five star. And uh, with the plus two overall, right? Really cheap SBC. Some people are like, man, these guys' stats are not that good. But still, for 35K or whatever his SBC was, he's kind of fun in game. And he is a beast of a card. At least a great super sub. But that Carlos Alberto is dropping in price right now, of course, as people anticipate his SBC. I don't know when this is going to be, to be completely honest. Uh, I would be surprised if EA dropped back-to-back -back days of pretty big-time icon player SBCs. But maybe this is something that's just going to be a part of this promo. We're going to have more more icon player species dropping again i would say just like perez it's probably going to be dropped for a long period of time and it's probably going to be very craftable during team of the season with all the upgrade packs and all the fodder that we will be getting there so watch out for that that could be a part of content today uh also today uh the uh what is it the urine review player pick expires there could be a refresh for this as it obviously is right now ea is taking this opportunity to release pretty good sbc content continually through trophy titans to try to drain coins out of our clubs that's also going to hurt the market in the coming days so again another reason to just be careful on the market right now with investing with trading buying teams stuff like that we're, we're waiting we're definitely waiting for buying teams now is more of a time that if you have not sold players from your team we ex expect some decent size drop off still on player price is maybe now is a time where you start to look into that or to continue doing that if you have some more tradable players in your team now fantasy cards i think these upgrades might be today it just kind of depends on the league games um and i think since today is a champions league day um and a lot of the league games kind of ended yesterday i wouldn't be surprised if ea actually pushed out some upgrades uh for these cards and i would say for these fantasy foot cards just be careful and i think a lot of people with team of the season on the horizon are maybe going to take the money on some of these cards that they just look at purely from an investment perspective eshock right he's getting a plus one for his three appearances upgrade he's going to go above 80 passing he's going to have 95 pace 95 dribble yes this card is going to look insane but if his price goes up at all after the upgrade i would see this as a great opportunity to sell the card before team of the season because by the time this card could get its next upgrade if Newcastle don't lose any games um, in their next, what is it? They still have three or four, three, two or three games to go. I think it's three games to go uh, to not lose in six. 
Uh, by the time that sixth game is going to be played, we will be into team of the season for sure a couple weeks away. And there's a lot of downside at that point with this card. So this guy going to a 92, um, maybe the, the Fabian as well. These guys like Alexis Sanchez, who actually was in the voting. Can you imagine Alexis Sanchez, who just got a fantasy card, getting a team of the season card and getting in through the voting? I mean, that's one reason I think people are not voting for him because he already has this like team of the season level card. And uh, I almost feel like EA would struggle to put him into the promo team if he uh, were to get you know voted. They might have to sway their way a little bit, right, on that one. Because EA, again, yes, there is voting, but EA do decide ultimately in the end uh, what they want to do. So I think those fantasy upgrades could be today, but selling in the hype around the time of the upgrade, especially for some of those guys who um, are not getting too many more upgrades because they've already gotten so many. Just be careful with that. I sold my Matoma that I club stocked yesterday. Um, it was a decent day to trade yesterday on the market. The market still is really healthy at the moment. People are playing games or trying cards out. Um, Road to the finals are a big watch today with Champions League games on deck, especially today with the Benfica Inter game and Man City Bayern. Massive, massive game there. Just be careful with these cards because let's say let's say Benfica come out firing on all cylinder, cylinders today. This Barella is a card that so many people have invested in, and I know that it has potential to get some big upgrades. I completely understand that, but this is a card that a lot of people still are holding on to, hoping for the price to rise as Inter could potentially win and move on to the competition. The win today does not guarantee the upgrade again. It's all about who goes on to the semifinal. So prices will be moving today on this Barella card. Then, of course, you got Calvin Phillips and Leon Goretzka. But selling in the hype, guys, is always the play to go uh, with, especially as we are so close to a very, very exciting and hype time where some brand new big time cards are gonna drop in this game. Guys, team of the season is one of the best times of the entire year. And I'm excited that we are so close. It's crazy how how fast time has gone, but we are on the doorstep of team of the season. So if you enjoyed today's video, if it helped you at all, drop a thumbs up on a comment level if you have any questions or comments about TOTS, or maybe just talk about your vote in the comments down below. And of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. There is still so much to talk about with what is going on in this game and team of the season. See you guys there. It's been Nathan Foot Account and catch you guys later. Peace out.